All right. Welcome back. Elena fills five small jars with homemade jams to share with her friends. Each jar can fit three-fourths cup of jam. How many cups of jam are in the jars? Um, so the question is, how many cups of jam are in the jars? Um, and uh, the important information, she fills five small jars. I hope that's all the way. I assume it's all the way. Otherwise, they can't really have a question. So each jar can fit up to three-fourths cup of jam. So if I was going to be really specific, I would say Elena fills five small jars to capacity with homemade jams to share with her friends. Each jar can fit three-fourths cup of jam. How many cups of jam are in all the jars together? That's how I would write it, but I didn't write it. So um, so we have our underlined question. We have bracketed our important information. Um, so identifying our key concept, we're multiplying or adding three-fourths five times but that's a lot of trouble, so don't do that. Um, so let's just save ourselves some problems or some troubles. Um, and what we're going to do is multiply fractions. So that's going to be five groups of three-fourths. And the multiplication symbol, once again, means the word of when we're talking about fractions and whole numbers. Five groups of three-fourths or three-fourths of five will kind of give you the same answer. So when you think about of Think about that multiplication sign. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn our whole number into a fraction by placing a 1 as the denominator. I'm going to do top times top. 5 times 3 is 15. Bottom times bottom. 1 times 4 is 4. So right now she's got 15 fourths, of, four, 15 fourths cups of jam. That is not something that people say. People do not talk in improper fraction land. So we should simplify our improper fraction um, remember, we're just dividing because all fractions are divisions. So this is 15 divided by 4. So 4 goes into 1 0 times, which is 0. When we multiply 4 times 0, 1 minus 0 is 1. You get to practice your long division. Hooray! All right, and then 4 goes into 15 a total of 3 times because 4 times 4 is 16. So 4 times 3 is 12, which gives us a remainder of 3. All right, so our whole number is 3. Our numerator, which is our remainder, is 3, and our denominator is 4. So, Elena has 3 and 3 fourths cups of jam in those jars. Um, so, that's how the algorithm can help us get through the word problems as well. Um, so, let's clear the screen, see what else they got for us. So, um, here's a couple different ways to look at it. <laughs> the way that I said don't look at it. Three-fourths added five times, right? That's going to get us the same answer. Three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. That's basically like adding three plus three is six plus three more is nine plus three more is 12 plus three more is 15. And remember, the denominator wouldn't change, so it stays the same. Fifteen-fourths, all right? And then fifteen-fourths would simplify, oops, simplify back down to uh, three and three-fourths. All right, so here's another way to look at it. Here's a picture of three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths. This one doesn't really tell you the answer, but if you count all of the um, shaded parts, you would count 15. So that's how you can see the answer. You're just going to have to actually do the um, labeling part. So there's three-fourths, and then if you have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 fourths, right? Um, C is using some logic. I know two groups of three fourths is six fourths, all right? This person knows that three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths. So they know that four groups would be another six fourths. So that makes 12 fourths. And then they know that another group of three fourths would make 15 fourths. So they're repeatedly adding, but just by decomposing and using groups. All right. And then this person did three fourths is three times one fourth. Okay. So five times three fourths is five times three and one fourth. This one is kind of breaking apart the different numbers, right? Um, by doing. 3 times 5, they got 15. And then um, 3 times 1 fourth is 3 fourths. Um, so together, by multiplying the numerator, um, we'll come back and talk about this one, actually. Um, there's a lot to, to decompress here. So um, I'll see you in the next video.